Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. And today we're going to talk about Eke Homo and what that is and how he brings the harvest. And this is normally celebrated the first two weeks of January. If you need additional information in the descriptive box below, there are links for various websites with additional information, including Amazon.com, where you can purchase any of the best selling books in the San Miguel de Allende secrets book series. Eke Homo is an image of Christ presented by Pontius Pilate prior to the crucifixion. Eke Homo is Latin for Behold the Man. Eke Homo has allowed those in San Miguel de Allende to survive drought, frost, and other weather disasters that could harden the harvest. The statue of Eke Homo was made in San Miguel de Allende in 1712 by the priests at the Oratorio in Plaza Civica. The main chapel was dedicated to this image of Eke Homo made out of corn stalks. The indigenous took to the image of Eke Homo in a large part because they could identify with the friars that presented Eke, the Eke Homo statue. The friars, like the indigenous, lived simple lives, didn't own shoes, lived in poverty, slept on the floor, and ate the same tortillas and chilies as the indigenous. Eke Homo shows Jesus as a prisoner, beaten and near death, an image that the conquered indigenous could relate to. In colonial times, there were two weeks of celebrations at the start of the new year, including bullfights and cockfights, plays and music to honor Eke Homo. However, by the end of the 18th century, the statue of Eke Homo was placed in a chapel behind the main altar of the parochia the indigenous could not access, thus diminish diminishing the importance of Eke Homo. Today, the first two weeks of January, Eke Homo sits in the parochia's main altar. The celebration culminates in a grand parade featuring hours of indigenous dancing in front of the parochia in praise of the sun, earth, and the cross. The image of Eke Homo that provides good weather and harvest attracts pilgrims from the surrounding rural communities where agriculture remains a way of life. The much-loved and honored statue of Eke Homo is the most ancient statue carried in our Holy Week's processions. As always, feel free to click the subscribe button below and you'll get notifications of new videos as they come out nearly daily here on the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. 